Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSIR has announced their final answer key that is revised answer key based upon the challenges which people have done on the provisional answer key. So in the final answer key, I guess you are quite aware about it that there are two questions which has been the, the answers of those questions has been dropped. Okay, so the question ID 701064 and 701118. So these are uh, two questions which has been dropped by CSIR. Now there is a lot of question regarding this that what is going to happen to these two questions whether these questions will be evaluated whether these will not be evaluated what will happen to the marks scheme like whether they are going to give marks to everyone or whether they are not going to give marks to anyone or whether they are going to give marks to only those who have uh, attempted these questions. So all these things I am going to clear in this video. First of all, I'll talk about this whole thing logically, okay? And I would like to thank many of you because a lot of you have commented in the previous video where I have just announced about the declaration of the final answer key. So there you have given your thoughts and I was inspired from many of them. So I'll be discussing about those over here. First of all, like logical uh, analysis of it that what could be the correct way of analyzing this. Then secondly, I'll talk about what is mentioned in the information brochure of CSIR and then I will talk about that what I had a conversation with uh, the help desk of uh, NTA. Okay, so that's what we are going to discuss in this video. So starting with a logical understanding of it. Okay, so let's say let's let's understand this in this way that there were 25 questions. Let's leave the other parts. Okay, I'm talking about chemistry portion. And I'm just talking about part C because both those questions belong to part C. Okay, so I'm just talking about that. Let's leave part A and part B. So let's say that everybody was only having part C questions. Now understand that CSIR net is an exam where you don't have all, you don't have to do every question. Like every question is not mandatory. There are choices which you can do, right? So in part C, you have total, uh, like uh, you have total 60 questions. Out of those 25, you have to do. So let's take the first scenario that if those two questions uh, for those two questions which are been dropped let's say everybody is getting the uh, marks for that okay so that means ki if someone if someone is person a okay and he has attempted 25 questions all right 25 questions out of those 25 all the 25 questions he has done correctly okay so that means every four marks question 25 questions every question of four marks so total he is getting 100 marks in part c which is the total 100 marks Part C is of 100 marks, he is getting the total marks out of there, right? Now, let's say he has not attempted these two questions which has been dropped. He has not attempted yet. But CSIR says that because these questions has been dropped, so uh, these, uh, these marks will be given to everyone. So, this person who has not attempted out of those 60 questions, he has not, he has excluded these two questions which has been dropped. He has uh, done any other 25 questions and he was already getting 100 marks uh, out of 100 now if those two questions will be included in his so it will be like four four marks two questions so he will be getting 108 marks out of 100 marks that will be totally illogical because this person is going to get more than the cutoff or more than the total marks right so that is not going to happen so this scenario where everyone is going to get marks for those for those two questions is not going to take place okay now the second scenario where nobody is going to get marks those questions will not be evaluated and let's say nobody gets marks okay ne neither of anyone is getting marks now here if you see there are two people okay one person a and person b now person a is the one again the same one who has done 25 questions uh, other than these two dropped questions okay he has done any other 25 questions out of those 60 he has not included those two dropped questions here. but there is person b who has included those two questions in his uh, total 25 questions the 25 question which has which he has done he has included those those two questions so if those two questions will not be evaluated so this person a is going to get complete 100 marks if every question is correct and if a uh, person b has also got every question correct but the two question which has been dropped because of that only 23 questions will be correct so he will be only getting 92 marks and person a will be getting 100 marks so again it will be unfair right with both of them so that again does not make sense because this will be totally unfair a person a who has not chosen those two questions because of that he is getting total marks but since he has chosen these two questions he is getting less marks now you will say that why he has chosen those two questions because in exam he was not aware right that those questions are incorrect that's not mistake from his behalf he ha he was having choice of choosing any 25 question out of those 60 he has chosen that he has done his part 
the problem was with csir and the quotient paper itself they have not uh, you know they have not uh, presented the quotient correctly or the quotient was incorrect so it's not the mistake of the aspirant it's the mistake of the uh, authority so why the student has to face that consequence right so that's again unfair so this also cannot happen that means this cannot happen that both of them are going to like the questions are not going to get evaluated now what could be the uh, best case scenario the best case scenario the best thing which csir can do is he uh, they can uh, like marks they can give this marks to everyone who has attempted it whether correct incorrect whatever because the question itself was wrong so whatsoever answer they have uh, marked for it they will get marks for it because those two questions are among the 25 questions which they have chosen and in that case it will not be unfair to anybody okay that's that is the best case scenario which can be done and this is what i also understand earlier when i uploaded the previous video i said that maybe these two questions will not be evaluated they will be dropped but then i read the comments obviously we are humans we also have to think twice so critically when i thought and when i read the comments i also understood that yes that those two scenarios where either everyone should get marks or everyone should not get marks that cannot happen okay the, these are unfair means so the only way which is correct is by giving marks to those who have attempted these okay so that could be the thing now i would like to take you to the information brochure because many of you have stated that in the comment section and again i i read the information brochure and it has been mentioned over there so i'll give you in the screen so it is mentioned on the page number 35 of the information brochure i will give you link to download the information brochure in the description of this video and if you see it is written that if a question so it is under under the section of procedure and criteria for declaration result okay so the second paragraph it says that if a question for any reason is found to be wrong the benefit of marks will be given to only those candidates who attempted the question okay on examining the challenges by the subject expert if it is found that along with the original answer key one more option is correct then the marks will be awarded to all those candidates who have attempted any one of the correct option now this is the second thing that is that has not happened the first line itself has happened that means if a question for any reason is found to be wrong which has been found in this case the benefit of marks will be given to only those candidates who have attempted the question now again this again makes sense and this is clearly mentioned in the information brochure so the marking or the result will be based upon this itself that means all those who have attempted these question these two questions who has been which has been dropped they are going to get benefit of that and they are going to get marks out of it now uh, i talked to the help desk although the people on the help desk they were not they said that they are not officials okay they are just there to solve the queries but they, they they are not in the authority to answer about it in official manner but still they said that yes if it is mentioned in the information brochure and if it is there that yes the marks will be given to those who have attempted it so that will be only followed and the marking scheme or the final marking scheme will be based upon this only that means everyone who has attempted those questions those people are only uh, like liable to get the marks out of it so these were the three aspects which i thought to make sure make clear because so many people are confused uh, and so many people are having like they are getting anxiety and all because of it those who are especially those who are on the borderline so if you have attempted this question count them in your marks okay and if you have not attempted this question of course you might have done some other questions right so it is not going to make any difference to you so anyone who has attempted it please count it in your marks and then count your total okay how much total you are getting so i hope things are clear to you i hope you understood and thank you so much for participating in the discussion for letting me know your thoughts so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and do let me know if you have any other query if you have any other question related to it in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there itself and that's all from my side for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hello everyone so if you are preparing for csr net exam or gate exam and if you want to prepare along with me then i teach on an academy plus platform you can join my classes over there for live sessions regarding csr net exam as well as for gate exam so if you are preparing for your exam and want to join some classes an academy is the best place where you can get all the live classes along with that you will get recording of the classes Plus, you will get a lot of practice sessions where you can practice questions. Along with that, you will also get access to notes where you can have short notes for your preparation and you can enhance your preparation with that, right? 
so in case if you are wondering where to take or from where to prepare for the upcoming exam an academy is the place where you can go for it so you can join an academy plus using my referral code that is n underscore huda uh, the link is there in the description of this video you can use that link to join an academy plus and watch all my classes live as well as recorded so join an academy now and let's crack this exam together